Within the first two weeks of school, five students were charged after taking a weapon to school in Richland County. The weapons include a loaded gun, steak knife, pocket knife, and others. Knowing this begs the question, what happens next for these students? WI's reporter Naomi Popa joins us live in studio to explain. Naomi, what else can you tell us? With those five students and minors in similar circumstances, each situation is handled case by case. This is because of several factors that need to be addressed before even deciding whether to detain or arrest. So what happens when a student takes a weapon on campus? And how does the situation change when dealing with a minor? What is taking place that a 13 year old is bringing a gun to school property? How do we prevent this? How do we try our best to get this kid on the right track? I spoke with attorney Seth Rose, who also serves as a state representative in Richland County. He tells me that generally students are taken to the juvenile detention center and then appear before a detention hearing in family court. It is there that Rose says all factors regarding the case are discussed. Regardless of their findings, the goal is to do what's in the best interest of the child. For Archie decision and what goal in these cases is what is best for the child. What are it, what's in the best interest of the child in question. That is why why these are sealed. We're not looking for punishment, but certainly punishments factored in, but it's what can be done to assist with the situation. Some factors in determining each case include age, history, the severity of the offense, and the student's personal life. WIS reported on four students charged within Richland School District 2 after taking a weapon to school, and one student charged in a Richland School District 1 school, all within two weeks. It's not as if this child's gonna return to school next week because there's gonna be an expulsion, um, likely to be detained, evaluations to be had and some potential form of incarceration within the Department of Juvenile Justice. You may not hear about them or be able to attend to watch them take place, but in my experience, those will take place with a charge such as, such as that. I asked neighboring districts throughout the Midlands about reported weapons brought to school. Of the ones that got back to me, only one in Lexington School District 2, where district officials say an airsoft gun was found in a student's backpack. Reporting in studio, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.